So we're basically rigging, we're looking or we're referring to rigging a set of ropes that we can then you know, be climbing, moving around on, you know, and uh, you know, working from within the rope access to our RADA framework. Okay, so um, basically, initially, we're going to need to identify a suitable structure to use, uh, you know, as you know, anchor points. Okay, so suitable structure. Uh, to create anchor points, we'd have a couple of slings, for example, uh, which we've you know got here just for uh, you know you know demo sake. Um, so we can look at this structure as capable of supporting one and a half ton uh, or an impact force of about 15 kilonewton. Okay, so if I've got two such slings around the structure, we can look at that as our two you know anchor points. Okay, so what we can then you know look at doing is getting a rope. We use low stretch when we're rigging ropes rather than, uh, you know, dynamic, okay? So all I've tied there, it's a nice, simple figure eight on a bite. Let's clip that to one of our anchor points there. Okay. Bit of good practice at the other end, about 300 mil away. I was gonna throw a, looks like a barrel knot, well, similar to a barrel knot, but uh, on a single strand, it's a stopper knot there. So that's one rope in place. We've got a second rope here. And again, just gonna tie it nice, easy, simple. Figure out on a bite. Okay. We do have some people that prefer to use, uh, you know, a figure nine on a bite. Okay, it's not too much difference in, uh, you know, overall strength between the two. Okay. Uh, I've gone with a figure eight there. It's easier to recognize, it's easier to make little fine, you know, adjustments to them if needed. Okay, so we'll just flank this through till we find the other end. Let's just go for a quick stopper knot at the end of that one as well. Okay, so there we go. All right, so, assuming there was nothing in the path of the ropes that would uh, potentially, you know, prove to be a hazard, we have two separate anchor points. We have a rope anchored or attached to each. There we are. Okay, we have a basic set of ropes that we could potentially work from, okay? Now, I have said that's the basic or the minimalist, uh, yeah, you know, option there, okay? Let's say, for example, we had anchor points that are a little bit further apart and we went for that exact same concept of rigging. If we had a complete, uh, you know, a mainline failure or, a, you know, a sling failure or something on this side, then we'd end up dropping onto our backup line but because they're a bit farther apart, we also have a bit of a pendulum swing, which is never ideal in any circumstance, okay? So, what we can then, um, you know, look at to, I guess, build a bit of extra redundancy into our rigging is have a way to load share everything in together, okay? And that's what we call, a, uh, you know, a Y-hang, okay? So, to make a Y-hang, I'm actually going to take the second rope here, move it across to the first anchor point, Let's just put both of them into that, uh, you know, first anchor point there. Now what I'm actually going to do is, and I'll explain the reason in a moment, but just get a rough approximation of the distance between the two anchor points. I'll mark that spot. And then I'm actually going to tie an alpine with a loop the same size as what I'm just marking there. Up and around, sort of shake that into place. Okay, then we'll clip that one into our, you know, second anchor. Then I'm going to get my second rope, do exactly the same thing, mark that approximate distance, keep uh, track of that spot on the rope, extend the loop out to about that same length, just a little bit more. We'll tie an apple and butterfly into there as well. So what I'm actually looking to achieve once I've finished throwing all that together is shared redundancy between anchor points with an angle ideally less than 60 degrees in here, okay? So, with all of this, uh, you know, sort of set up in place, what we're basically looking at, if we did have a mainline failure, yes, we would still drop onto our backup line or our backup device, but we've actually eliminated the pendulum swing or the pendulum effect from, uh, you know, from the ropes that we've rigged here, 